Let's call on our starting lineup from our Lady Eagles of the Ateneo de Manila University. Wearing jersey number one, Ariel Patlongon. At number two, Eliza Valdez. Wearing jersey number three, Gretchen Ho. At number six, Angeline Marie Hervasho. Wearing jersey number 12, Jamenea Ferrer. And our team captain with jersey number 15, Phil St. Merced Cainlet. Libero, number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro. Head coach, Mr. Parley Tupaz. Calling on our air women of the Philippine Air Force. At number three, Jennifer Manzano. Wearing jersey number four, Wendy Ann Semana. At number nine, Lisa Ramos. Wearing jersey number 12, Chris Marie Latigai. At number 13, Isa Maizo. And the team captain with jersey number 15, Melia Blanco. Libero, number 16, Connie Resho. Head coach, Staff Sergeant Ariel De La Cruz. The best of luck to both teams. Wala pa rin po si Cherry Rose makatangay dito sa lineup ng Philippine Air Force. Naghahanap sila ng importanting panalo para maka-force ng playoff. Para sa Ateneo, gustong tapusin ng semifinal cast at makarating na doon sa Final Four. At tatangay nila ang Philippine Navy kung makakalusot sila ngayong hapon na ito against Philippine Air Force. That's right, Coach Ronnie. So talagang ang weight nito game na to I think is more on the Mabigat. Philippine Air Force. Dahil kailangan nilang ipanalo ito. At uh, otherwise, it's bye-bye. Diba? ba? Makaka, magkakaroon ng oportunidad ng Ateneo na makakuha ng back-to-back -back rounds, of course. Right. Iba na ang usapan pagdating sa semifinals. Pasok na po ang San Sebastian. Pasok na rin ang Philippine Army. Dalawang upuan na lamang inaantay at ang Philippine Navy masusing nakatutok. Dahil ang panalo ng Ateneo ay magtatawid sa kanila sa semifinals. At ang pagkakagapi ng Ateneo ng Philippine Air Force ay magdadala sa 3 4 na kung saan. Ang Ocean will be resolved top team doon sa tatlong teams. Makakarating na sa semifinals. Yung last two teams will fight for a player for the final seat in the semi-finals. Wendy Siman is starting out the hostilities, serving for Philippine Air Force. Zier Vasho for Ateneo. Scoring the first point for the Lady Eagles. Right away on that open hit, Aliza Valdez. Alam mo, Mozzie, kung sakaling makalusot ang Ateneo sa semifinals, they have to thank their efforts of getting past the Philippine Navy in their last game. Ma-importanting laro na kanilang nailusot. Mais na Mais, who only scored 10 points in that losing cross against... That's really a low number yes, for her. Philippine and Navy, Aiza Maizo. Oh, ay uh, nagtatangka to bring her A game and help propel the Air Women past the Lady Eagles. One apiece for a set. That's going to be wide for Latiga. These two teams face tough in the eliminations with Philippine Air Force winning in four sets. In fact, nung eliminations, tatlong naging panalo ng Philippine Air Force. But dito sa ating quarterfinals, isang kupanan lamang ang kanilang tinalo. At yan ay ang kupanan ng Maynilad na hindi na rin po makakatawid sa semifinals. Patlong ang serving. Good reception. Alam mo ang coach Ronnie, syempre, pride rin yan na itong Philippine Air Force, Philippine Navy, at saka, di ba, yung Army. Yan, tatlong yan, kahit pa paano, because they also have a league of their own. Of course, may little Olympics, no? Yes, dito sa Shakey's V-League, syempre, iba rin naman yung makapasok at going into the semifinals. With much pride, syempre. Wendy Samana chasing after that ball. Guanco will push that ball too long. No spin. No spin. On that hit by Ami Guanco. If it's fun family and pizza, it's got to be shaky. Well, you can say that the sidelining of a uh, former MVP, Cherry Rose Makatangay, really hurt yes, the chances of the Air Women in uh, putting up a better win-loss card here in the quarterfinals. But there will be no excuses for the Air Women. That was really a big setback. Why? Because Cherry Makatangay really scores a lot of every course. game for uh, the Philippine her Air Women. Her presence on offense, her efforts on defense, and definitely... When you lose a key player, especially in the crucial stretches of the tournament, masakit yan. And uh, mamaya, ang ating uh, makakasama being third member of the panel, 
uh, merong konting uh, update dito sa present na pumalit dito kay Cherry Rose Makatangay. Carvacho for Ateneo. Jemenina Ferrer. Lisa Valdez. Ramos attacking. Gretchen Ho. One more chance. Valdez. Juanco for Air Force. Emmanuel with the back set. Once again to Maizo. Long rally. Very long rally. Longest rally of the match so far. He pushes it through the two blockers of the Philippine Air Force. And definitely the title in the first conference has made Ateneo a more confident unit. And Mikasa MBA 300 is the new official game ball of the Shaky B League Season 8. Maski walang import. Solid and performance. They made it to the quarterfinals even after losing five games in a row. And that comes with winning the first two games of the eliminations. They were two and five. That's going to be into the net. Playing tight. A little tight here in the first set are the air women. Oh, you pressure. It's it's pressure. Like they're they're on their side. Oh, bagito ka, veterano ka. And pressure weighs heavily in your shoulders. Sometimes it's hard to find the right four. But no one's still serving for Ateneo. So, for Air Force. Yes. Zier Basho going to Alliance of Valdez once again. Oh, Resha diving for that one. Very poor start for the women as Ateneo surges to an eight. Against one lead here in the first technical timeout, www.v-league.ph for the latest news updates. Ito po sa inyong pabritong Shakey's V League. Ito na po ang kasama natin ngayon sa Happy Birthday Ma! Force, uh, si Coach Ligoy and the rest of the team are really determined to win today. And sabi nga nila, when you talk about skills, it's already a given. They're physically prepared and able to play today. And uh, what's more important is how they are prepared intrinsically. Um, sabi nga ni Coach Ligoy, he will not get tired of motivating his team the whole game because the team made it clear from the get-go, ayaw nilang maging last game to. Even their commanding general, Lieutenant General Oscar Rabena, had a word with the air women after yesterday's practice. Now, Iris Patrona, their guest player who replaced uh, Cherry Mukata is not checking in yet because she is coming from a prior team, but the team is expecting her to arrive anytime soon, guys. Important development. And then, that is the two Vivas and Pumalet, Cherry Rose, Mangatanga. Eventually, Iris uh, Patrona taking over that spot, and she's been scoring well for the Philippine Air Women, but they need her services badly in this do or die match against the Lady Eagles. No wonder, parang nagmamadali ang Ateneo. Parang nakatabuk <laughs> siya. Parang siya makarating na doon. That, that, that last play, si Ramos. Two straight points here from Air Women. 8-1 a while ago. Eliza Valdez against two blockers. Wanted to go for that drop shot. Nabasa ng defenders. Tapos tumalan itong batang to, no? Oo, oh, and uh, talagang volleyball body, eh. <laughs> Prototype athlete. Uh -huh. Good luck. Oops. Still so available. Against two blockers. Gretchen Ho saving that play. Zero Vash will just. And the blocking of uh, the Philippine Air Force just really working. As we see Zero Vash on this flight, but the Air Force was just there to block it out. Three straight points for the air women. Well, kaya nga, Ateneo 8-1. Nasagot na ng air women yung surge dito ng Lady Eagles. Let's see how the Lady Eagles will respond. Talagang blocking eh. Oh, and the Dramos stepping on someone's foot. That's the Sanas foot. Look at the sequence. Everybody was in the front row for Ateneo. And it's really the blocking of the... Philippine Air Force that has gotten them back in this game. They only had three blocks in that losing cross against Philippine Navy. Philippine Navy. And that really is the armor of Alisa Valdez. And credit to an ace now for Isa Maizo. Tama ka dyan, partner. Five straight points. Five straight points. Five straight points. Yan na naman ang maasahan mo sa isang veteran team. Hindi basta basta magpapatalo easily. So now looking for ways catch up oh, and Manzano you can see her not the approach itself the bar alam mo it was going to be a powerful run as we see it once again that was a great you know, find coming from Wendy Simana 
16th among the league's best scorer to si Jenny Manzano top scored for 13 points against Philippine Navy but they need more points they need more successful attacks from Manzano and Isa Maizo Valdez attacking Simana good dig by Denton Lazaro and a save by Wendy Simana and Anisa Valdez just hammered that one very safe placement by Jen Ferreira on that set. Eliza Valdez composing herself. Nailing Ateneo's ninth point, stopping the surge of Air Force at six points. Abante pa rin po ang Ateneo dito. Unang puntos na leon after the first technical timeout. 9-7 Lady Eagles. Valdez on deck to serve. Maizo. Manzano out of position. Jen Ferreira with the back set. Basho against a solitary blocker. Difficult set by Semana. Lazaro once again. Lazaro. Very effective. That goes in. Resho letting that fly away, but it catches the line. Napakagandang combo ng Valdez at uh, Kainet no, in terms of offense for Ateneo. Uh, palo si Valdez ng malalakas. At ito, even from the back row, Kainet getting that ball safely inside. Two straight points for Ateneo. 10-7 for set. Valdez once again going to Maizo. Huli lang yung blockers, ha? The ram was right on time. Medyo mabagal pa yung pocket. Mabagal ang setup, ha? But still, gets the point. 